I'm Grant Garcia at Orthopedic Specialists of Seattle, and today we're going to talk about ACL tears. In the United States, over 400,000 ACL reconstructions are done a year. It's one of the most common ligaments I reconstruct. If someone tears the ACL and they're under 40 and quite active, generally we recommend an ACL reconstruction. Most of the time we use three types of grafts, the patella tendon, the quad tendon, or the hamstring tendon. My preference in high level athletes and the professional athletes I've treated is patella tendon. In patients over 40, we generally go with cadaver grafts and that they still have very good results and similar results in this patient population. In general, there's other things you want to think about when you do an ACL reconstruction. One is the cartilage. Sometimes there can be damage to the cartilage. In our younger patients, even if there is cartilage damage, generally we watch it at first. They may be candidates at a later time for cartilage transplant, and this is something we perform at Orthopedic Specials of Seattle. With regards to the meniscus, it's really important to identify all different types of meniscus injuries. In young patients, they have almost always need to be repaired, and it's, you need to make sure that you have a surgeon that's capable of doing this. These repairs are important because it not only helps your ACL reconstruction, but also helps with the stability and long-term efficacy of the surgery. In general, when it's more complex, the same principles still, still apply, but you need to understand there's also more complex surgeries that can be added to this to prevent a revision injury. In general, if you've got a regular ACL tear or want more information, or you've had an ACL tear or a previous ACL reconstruction, visit us at Orthopedic Specialists of Seattle or at my website at www.grantgarciamd.com and learn more about it and make your next consultation. Thank you.